Greetings again, friends. Well, you know, I thought today that I might read uh, an article that I wrote uh, again on my website that was really relevant. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if you pay attention to different things uh, that go on in society, things that are mentioned about what happened in space. Um, <clears throat> if you've paid attention, you might have heard more about Mars uh, and the retrograde that is uh, that has occurred. Uh, if you're into what goes on in the skies, uh, or even the talk of going to Mars or the space force, as is talked about, uh, that was established uh, in this administration uh, as an additional uh, a military force, first time in a long time, anything like that. But but in thinking about space and thinking about what I saw when I was looking at an article talking about the coronavirus and how tiny it was and what they are doing, uh, like what John Hopkins just uh, uh, had an article about, about how they hope to be able to uh, inhibit uh, the coronavirus growth uh, through uh, what they're, they're calling um, in this article, the little, they showed the little microscopic virus and the little coronavirus that that is is there and how it affected the blood cells and that were there so <clears throat> just really interesting how they could hope to inhibit the growth uh, but but in thinking about that article and in thinking about the news about Mars and in just thinking about the middle, it reminded me of this uh, article that I had written <coughs> called big the big middle and little now, this is an important subject, and it's even important as it relates to what we're thinking about in reference to important things uh, as, it, as we're coming up on this election. Now, there are some things that you might think are big things, and people are more interested in the big things, and some things that are just little things, but little things are important. Uh, but they're just smaller things, little things. And then you have things kind of in the middle. <clears throat> so all of that came into my mind as I'm thinking about what I might talk about today. And so I thought it would be appropriate again to read this article, which you can find on my website, uh, www.vtlessons2learn.com. And uh, that's the website I established after everything happened at Virginia Tech in 2007 and how that impacted my life and the book I wrote and the website I established. But a lot of blog articles are on that website. So again, I'm going <clears> to <throat> just talk about the, what I had said in this blog article. Really interesting thing as it relates to the big and the little and the middle. So uh, think with me here now. Now, as I say, it, an important aspect of living that enables one to survive despite tragedy or during difficult times, and that will even allow one to thrive, is to properly understand the big, middle, and little. Failure to grasp this will confuse you or even distract you from having a proper balance in life. If you neglect any one of these three things, you will no doubt have more problems in your life, which will necessarily lead to tragedy. In fact, the reason we all function as we do today is because of those who have gone before us and explored these three areas. Read more or listen with me more if you dare to see whether you understand the big, middle, and little. No doubt you have taken a moment <clears throat> at some point in your life to consider the great expanse of the heavens even with what your own eyes can observe, as I was just discussing Mars before. Modern telescopes enable us to view the far reaches of the universe, and photo telescopes, such as the more famous Hubble telescope, which is still operating, <laughs> give us some fascinating pictures of the wonders in space. The vastness of space is enough to keep any explorer endlessly occupied, even after the wonders of this world are somewhat investigated. The big, 
or things that are much greater than we are, often occupies our thinking. In fact, uh, what couple has there been who has not looked up into the stars and thinking of their future and love expressed to one another and something greater than they are, look up in the stars and and imagine their lives together. Uh, that is just something that shows the bigness of this universe. Then again, what about the little? Whether you realize it or not, you are benefiting from the advances in technology today from discoveries of the little. Microscopic research and discovery has enabled us to benefit from computer technology and various means of communication such as the convenient and incredible features on the cell phones that we carry in our pockets. Likely, you even regularly benefit, maybe even today, from small waves, microwaves, of heat that help cook food that you eat. The discovery of what is little in the areas of medicine and health enable us to understand more about how medicines work and even how our genes affect the way in which we live and function. Like I was discussing with that uh, discovery that was uh, mentioned in uh, the magazine Blood uh, from John Hopkins talking about uh, what they think will help in the fighting the coronavirus. The little allows for surgeries that are not so life-threatening and can even help correct tiny things that have gone wrong in your body. Maybe you are interested in microbiology or even in the fascinating possibilities with nanotechnology. The little is indeed also quite important. When you live by sight, it is the big that most often gets your attention. When you understand more about what is big, you begin to realize the big would not be possible were it not for what is little. What is little is just as important as what is big, though it may not be as noticed or appreciated. When considering the big or the little, you might say that you are operating in the middle. This is where you have immediate control and decide how much to consider the big and the little. I find it quite ironic that the tools enabling us to better understand what is big and what is little both had their origins around 400 years ago in the Dutch village of Middleburg. <laughs> Fascinating how the telescope and the microscope were both discovered in that tiny Dutch village so long ago, over 400 years ago now. It's just amazing how that, that technology came about and so much science has been discovered since then. <clears throat> Do you know what you find regardless of how large you magnify things through a telescope or how small you understand little things through a microscope, you find design and order. You see the hand of the Creator. You understand how transcendent this Creator is, yet how imminent He is to care for even the smallest things we cannot naturally observe with our eyes. Have you ever looked at a snowflake? Have you ever seen that a snowflake has such design and order, all having the same concentric shape yet uh, built upon that, that shape, but yet have so many different designs and all unique? But man-made snow doesn't have that design in order. But what God made, what God makes through what He does in creation, does have that order. 
So you see design and order in what God has done, whether it's big or whether it's little. Dear friend, do you know this great creator? His name is Jesus Christ. He came into this world and died on the middle cross to pay for the penalty of your sin against a holy God and to provide a fix that will eventually correct the effects of sin that freedom allowed to come into his creation. Please see the gospel tab uh, on my website or contact me if you have further questions there. God cares about the big, the middle, and the little. So should we. And indeed we should, because even as Scripture says, it is the little foxes that spoil the vine. It is little things in relationships that cause problems that lead to big problems. Often it gets bigger and bigger when things aren't dealt with. So little things are very important. They may not seem that important when you walk by sight, but they are very important. And the big is important in, in showing the vastness of who God is and all He's created, and we're so tiny and compared to that. But if you take the, the greatest, the greatest, biggest things that you can in space that you can see, that we see on tele, in telescopes, and you take the smallest things that can be seen under the microscope, guess what's about right in the middle of those two things? We are. God has put us in the middle of His creation and at the center of what He wants to do in this world. So friend, are you on board with what God has for you? Are you paying attention to the big and the design and order there and the little and the design and order there and all throughout and in the middle, the design and order in your own body? Oh, I hope you are. You need to care about these things and think about these things. And I hope this video today, a little different, but maybe challenged you a little bit and caused you to think a little bit and hopefully to understand more about our great God. So I trust you'll like this video. I trust that you'll share it with other people, that you'll subscribe to my channel and even hit the notification bell and be ready for the next one because I'm telling you, the next I'm planning is going to be a good one. It'll be a good word for you.